Um, it's an iconic airplane, or the original Miss Mr. Mulligan was an iconic airplane. Uh, you know, uh, the, the Howard folks uh, made money winning air races to fund their commercial aviation venture, and uh, this was the airplane that brought home the bacon to make that happen. So it plays an important role in the history of aviation in terms of, you know, the Howard was a great airplane, and, uh, and this airplane was really part of the genesis of that whole uh, empire. Um, but it also tells a story of what, uh, you know, a guy in Arkansas can do when he puts his mind to something, anything. Um, you know, Jim's incredi incredibly industrious and uh, an artisan and an engineer, and he brought all of those things together uh, to build, you know, an airplane like this. And it's, uh, it's just really an amazing testament to his determination and his ability. And first of all, with an airplane, it's a very honest airplane. It's uh, not particularly difficult to fly. And unlike what your first impression would be by looking at the airplane, the visibility is remarkably good. Uh, that's a tribute to uh, the design of the airplane. The panel's cut out and provides a way that you can see uh, much better forward visibility than you would expect in a little tiny airplane with a great big motor. Um, it is a, a very stable airplane in uh, pitch and roll. It's a little bit active in yaw, um, so you fly the rudder on the airplane all the time. Um, but, uh, and the faster you go, the more active the rudder gets. So that's really the only uh, thing that would separate it from a traditional uh, you know, certified airplane is the uh, lack of yaw stability and the uh, highly active rudder. Uh, from a, a historical perspective, uh, you know, those of us who do a lot of this see ourselves, our role is to be custodians of these airplanes and use them as a tool to tell a story. And there's a lot of great stories that this airplane has to tell. And so being able to bring it out here to Blakesburg where there's so many tourists that understand and appreciate what this airplane means is a great thrill. Um, and finally, from a personal level, I mean, just being, you know, the fact that a guy like Jimmy Elkin would ask you to fly an airplane of this significance, it, it means a lot to me personally. Most people in aviation probably don't know the name Jim Yonkin, but almost everybody in uh, aviation, something Jim Yonkin has done has changed their lives, whether it's the NSD 360 HSI that was the first HSI available for general aviation airplanes that he invented, the Century uh, Series autopilots, which were the first autopilots that were affordable and functional in general aviation airplanes. You know, I've got a 1978 Baron that has a Century 3 autopilot that was designed in 1965. And is a f today, you know, what what is it? Uh, 65. I public school math, but over 50 years ago, uh, and is still a very, very capable and functional autopilot. And uh, and the list goes on and on and on of the innovations that Jim Yonkin has uh, um, brought to aviation. And then you know what Bobby did in the air show business is, uh, you know, I mean Bobby was a man with very few peers in terms of his flying ability. Uh, and, and, you know, just did such a, amazing things with airplanes for so long. Jim's brother, Bob, you know, was a world-renowned uh, engine builder for many, many years, a Navy pilot, and came home to uh, build an overhaul facility, build an overhaul in Pratt & Whitney engines. Um, and then uh, Matt and Amanda, you know, Matt and, uh, is a, now a legend in the air show business, and uh, Amanda was just everybody's sweetheart in the air show business, and, uh, you know, the loss of Amanda was tragic to all of us. Uh, you know, she was uh, just like a daughter. Matt and Amanda are like children to me, and I, and I got to know them through Jim. And uh, so the Yonkin family, again, has touched directly or indirectly almost everybody in aviation today. as America's foremost pilots staged their biggest national show. The 1935 races became known, only half-jokingly, as the Benny Howard National Air Races. Benny Howard, the man who uh, designed uh, Pete, Ike, Mike, and Mr. Mulligan, of course, that won uh, the 1935 Bendix race. Benny had this tremendous uh, desire and these ideas in his head about an airplane and could put those thoughts and concepts down on paper and then they would build an airplane from them. That airplane uh, is the physical embodiment uh, of that man's desire to do the ultimate.
While the original Mr. Mulligan did not survive its 1936 crash in New Mexico, there is an award-winning replica built by Jim Yunkin that still thrills crowds at air shows. Mr. Mulligan is on loan to the Arkansas Air Museum in Fayetteville, Arkansas, but the famous plane is not merely a display aircraft. Over the years, Mr. Mulligan has been an extremely popular flyer at many major air shows, including EAA's Air Venture in Oshkosh, the Reno National Air Races, and the Antique Airplane Association's Blakesburg Fly-In. While Benny Howard and Harold Newman have gone west, memories of them and of all the Howard racers continue to burn brightly with air race fans.